Welcome to the automation zone. In today's tutorial, we will be looking at what is a class method and where to use a class method in a Python program. Now, given here is a sample program or sample class called employee, which has got a um, static variable also called as a class variable. Your class variables are variables which are shared by all the objects of your class. So I can access this class variable by typing in uh, the object dot variable. So object or variable again and class dot variable. And if you see the output, it is the same name, which is my company. A quick note, guys, when you're creating a method inside of a class, your very first parameter by default is going to be the object itself. You do not need to pass it. So what I mean is if you are taking the object like this and calling the method a normal method from a class like get age, then your object is passed to the very first parameter. Now this is a normal method. Your class methods basically accept the class has your very first parameter to create a class uh, a class method if we use the decorator called as at the rate class method and the method that you type underneath it like this is going to be a class method now what we'll do here is we are going to create a method that changes your class variable or static variable called company so let me create a method by the name change company and if you look at this the moment I put a bracket it accepts a default parameter called CLS. This is basically the class employee itself. So what I'll do here is um, I can do class dot company is equal to and I can pass a parameter an extra parameter called as new name and I can assign class dot company is equal to this new value. Now note that me typing cls.company is exactly same as typing your employee.company but this is a better approach to do the exact same thing uh, the other thing to note is uh, cls here does not have to have the same name you can have any name of your choice for example i can type abc and that will work as well but it is better to go with the standard default name which is cls you cannot have the class has a you cannot have class as a variable name because class here is a special keyword which is used to create a class and therefore python has chosen cls as your default parameter we will now use this particular class method to change your static variable or your class variable called my company so do note this your class method over here does not have an object but it it uses the class so the right way to call a class method is not by using the object but by using the class itself so what i'll do here is, is i'm going to take the class which is employee and using the class i'm going to call the method call as change company i then will change my company name to automation zone and then if i run the program we save this you would see that the company name is changed and I can access this by using any of the objects or by using the class itself. Yes, it is possible for you to also access the method by using the object. But this basically does not make any sense because uh, what is the point of calling the method by using the object when it does not actually uh, it is not specific to an object. It is basically specific to a class. So try not to do this. It will just cause confusion for somebody who reads the code. So the right way to call a static method is by using the class itself. The most common use case for a class method is to create alternate constructors. Now in this given example, I have a constructor which accepts the name and the age of a user and then it creates an object. Example, employee one was created by typing in or by passing the name of the person which is Tom and his age which is 22. Now what if the the age for John was not known but I knew that or but I know he was born in the year uh, 1995. Now this is going to cause a particular problem because as I said the constructor does not uh, accept the year of birth but the age. So we'll now create an alternate constructor 
which accepts the the year of birth as well so what we'll do now is instead of creating a new class method we will just modify this existing one and convert it into an alternate constructor so let me change the function name or the method name to alternate alt constructor and this constructor of mine will accept two values the very first one is going to be the name of the person and the second one is not going to be the age but is going to be the year of birth or YOV. Now the way we create a constructor is by typing in this particular piece of code which is basically your class name and then your name and age which is right here. Now in our current class method I do not need to call in your class name but I can use the first variable which is CLS itself. Now we already have the name of the person which is your parameter name so I can replace Tom with name but we do not have the age we have the year of birth so what I'll do here is let me calculate the age of the person by typing in the current year minus the year of birth now this is on the right way but this is just, this is just an approximate way for calculating to show you an example and now I can type the age as your second parameter so your name and your age and I'm calling the constructor so what I'll do here is if this line does not make any sense because change company does not exist let me remove that and now instead of calling your your default constructor let me do a dot over here and call your alternate constructor so what I'm doing here is employee dot alternate constructor which is this function right here I'm passing in John and the year of birth and then inside of this particular method I'm calling in the constructor itself by the name and the calculated age and what I have to do here is I have to just return this particular object so return and the object is returned and saved in employee 2 so in this way I have created two constructors your first one is your default one and the second one is your alternate one now guys just make a note uh, in most cases when you are having a alternate constructor we have a specific um, method of typing the name of your function and that is we type in from underscore and then we type in uh, you're creating this particular constructor from what so from the year of birth so this will make much more sense it is not mandatory but it's a standard which is usually used so I'm creating an employee object from the year of birth by typing in the name of the person and the year the year is passed right here converted to age and then your constructor is called which returns the value of the object itself and is saved in employee 2 so what I'll do here is I'll just go quickly go ahead and print the age of both of my objects and let me see if it works so upon execution you will see the output is perfectly fine now some guys after seeing this video might be having a question is that I do not require a class method but I could have just used a starting method. So in starting method I do not require the class variable. I could have just used the class name and created the particular object and returned it and if you run the program you would see that this also works fine. Yes it will work fine but when you are using it only for a single class. In the future you will be using this with other properties such as your inheritance okay and in such cases your static approach for creating an alternate constructor might fail so it is always better that if you're creating alternate constructors or if you're using your uh, class variables inside of your methods to go for your class method and not go for your static method Okay, so that is it for today's tutorial on static methods. If you have any questions, do comment below. I will help you out. If you like my series on Python, do show your support by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you all for watching.